Hello there, hunks. Welcome back to another Humunky Lord review where today we are looking at the Jack specific Breath of the Wild Link. Here he is in that box. Looking all cool. Got Zelda in the wave too. 20 points of articulation. Let's open him up. Here he is out of the box. He comes with the soldier's broadsword, which looks pretty nice. Would have hoped for the uh, master sword, maybe a, a shield to go with it, but kind of fits the themes of Breath of the Wild, just having a random sword, nothing too special. Probably gonna break after three or four hits anyway, so here he is. Let's look at his uh, details which is pretty great, actually. He's got a lot of paint details that you wouldn't really expect him to be there for uh, the price he is, 10 bucks. Here is his face. Looks pretty good. He's even got his earrings painted here and the uh, little ponytail painted blue. He's got all the uh, details, the little line work on his tunic. Each little uh, stud and buckle is painted with this gold, which is really nice. Right here, here, got this other strap of brown. Got the silver here. Uh, this can hold the Sheikah Slate that came with Zelda, but I do not have that, so it won't. Uh, <laughs> here is the bracer. It's got a lot of cool detail, too pretty intricate for what it is you got the sculpt on the uh, bracer here looking pretty sweet same pattern here even on the back we got the details we got the little triforce right behind his head there got the stud on the back painted too on the back pouch is painted even has the stud with the little drawstring or ribbon or whatever painted which is really awesome. Got the cuffs on the boots. Bottom's a different color. Sword has the uh, grip a different color too. Pretty decent uh, gray silver that they made it in. Yeah, look at this guy. 10 bucks for this. All this detail. That's crazy. We get all, we don't have a we have we don't have a Marvel Legends that paint the back of it, that or Black Series that paint all these little buckles and straps. And that's for twenty five dollars. <laughs> they make us they make us pay a deluxe price to get all the paintwork on there. I don't have the original Breath of the Wild link, but just looking at the listings for it uh this guy looks way better the old one had weird shoulders and this looks to have a lot more articulation uh which i guess i'll go over right now uh his head can go around not much tilt not much up not any up not much down arms go all the way around go up really far double jointed arms that go all the way up he's got his wrists go in and out the same on both hands he's got a little bit of a swivel here that doesn't really do all that much but it can get up and down which we don't see very much on these uh, Jack specific figures, but the uh, buckles and stuff here kind of limit how much it can do. But it's nicely hidden right here in the, the bunchiness of this. Uh, his legs have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees that go all the way up, kick his own butt, 
his own hillion, but, uh, no boot swivel, uh, ankle. Well, <laughs> you can see it's on a ball joint. Let's see if I can get that back on. There we are, you might want to be a little bit gentle with the ankle there. Oh, it actually has a rotation in it too, from the ball. And super crazy, he has a toe joint. This guy has just about everything that you get, get in a now $25 figure in a $10 package. Man. I uh, found this guy at a uh, Walmart. Um, looks like they just stocked the toy aisle. Uh, he was there with uh, another Samus, which if you are curious about I do have a review of it <laughs> um, but I've been looking for this guy for a while uh, Zelda wasn't there but uh, I probably wasn't was gonna skip on Zelda anyway get Link he's a bit more action focused um, but yeah and the uh, Kanchu build a figure way for Marvel Legends was there and I was looking at the Howard the Duck that they're selling for $25. I think he has like head rotation, arm rotation, maybe a swivel, and like nothing in the legs, which is crazy. Um, I know this isn't a video about uh, Marvel Legends, but I mean, look at this guy. He's got everything <laughs> there is to have. Uh, he is a little bit smaller. Uh, something I just noticed is there is a little scuff on the sword there. So that kind of sucks, but not too big of a deal. You can <laughs> kind of pretend it's uh, one of the grungier swords you can get in the game. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, look at this guy. They are just... I thought the Samus was articulated. This guy has just as much, if not more, at least in the ankles he has more. Uh, yeah. I think this is shaping up to be a line to watch. Uh, it was kind of... Uh, bummed out when they stopped doing the uh, Nintendo figures the general Nintendo figures they've been doing just Mario for so long now now we're getting some slowly getting out of that we're getting some Legend of Zelda we're getting Metroid hopefully we'll be seeing I don't know this new uh, Pikmin game coming out it'll be awesome to see uh, redo of the Star Fox figures uh yeah, I guess I didn't show how far his legs could go out. Yeah, the skirt's gonna kind of get in the way there, but it is softer, so it does get out of the way a little bit. Yeah, well, just look at how much articulation they're packing into a $10 figure, $10, $11, however much. I, <laughs> I wouldn't expect a double jointed arms, legs, uh, especially not like a toe joint. That's crazy. Rocker has been something that has been missing <laughs> from a lot of these uh, cheaper figures though. I uh, One of my favorite lines is the McFarlane five inch avatar line. They are way more limited than this for the same price. They have single jointed elbows, legs, uh, 
swivel here, pretty much the same amount of head movement, but that's about it. They don't have any wrist, they don't have ankle, definitely don't have toe. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is kind of showing that Jax is going to be something to watch. Uh, they're not the same uh, cheap option, even though I guess they are compared to what else there is. I think this is going to be the line for Nintendo figures. I, I guess it's easy to say that when you can't afford uh, the uh, Figma ones, but <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. All the paint, everything you could probably want. I can't think of anything that's really missing from this guy. Yeah, it would be nice to have a shield. I think that would be cool. A uh, bow, maybe. I don't know, they don't really... It's hard to make them pose good without, like, butterflies or anything. So, yeah. This is going to be something to look out for. Uh, I know, uh, these figures don't seem to be as tough to find. Uh... Oh, he actually has a bicep swivel, too. I didn't notice that. That's awesome. That's something the Samus could have used. <laughs> um, it's going to be... I don't think these are going to be too tough to find. Uh, I found when I got the Samus, there was only one on the rack. Uh, got the last one, but I just saw that they restocked at my local Walmart. And... Uh, this guy was there, so was another one and another Samus. I'd uh, I'd definitely wait for them to stock it. I've seen people get pretty crazy on eBay asking 50 bucks for that. This guy, which no way. <laughs> um, but yeah, get him for retail, and he is definitely worth your money for a ten dollar figure these days, especially with prices increasing. Uh. Can't wait to see the movie figures. I will probably only be picking up Toad, but I heard they're gonna be a bit more expensive, so I might see if they end up on clearance. But yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, never mind. I'm not letting you leave just yet. I haven't done height comparisons. Can you believe that? Okay, here we have Samus. About the same height, he should probably be, uh, Samus should probably be a bit taller than him, but whatever. Here he is with Penguin Mario. And here he is with the Villager. Oh yeah, we are shaping up to have quite the diverse, uh, options for Nintendo figures. This is the old world of Nintendo. Hopefully we get newer ones that are easier to find, even though this wasn't too hard to find. I got this for $11 on eBay. I've seen one go for about, for a similar prices on there. So if you really want it, uh, jump on now before it gets gone. But yeah. Yeah. These figures awesome i love them super cheap relatively uh especially in this world of rising prices definitely worth your time if you're looking to build up a nintendo collection hopefully they continue the trend of uh more non-mario franchises Build up kind of a Smash Brothers universe, I guess, is kind of what we're getting at. Or what I would like them to get at, anyway. Hope to see this guy in his uh, Ocarina of Time outfit. Pro I would assume the next Link we're going to get is going to be from Tears of the Kingdom, which I am super excited about. But that about does it for what I got here, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have a couple other Nintendo reviews. I have the Villager. I have Samus. Uh, I have some reviews of the 
five inch avatar line if you're interested in that good line i recommend it so maybe give it a go uh yeah and i will see you later for the next review whatever that may be thank you so much for watching goodbye